Today we're going to take a look at how to solve a system of linear equations using matrices on any one of our TI-84 calculators. Um, as you can see, I've got uh, two different calculators pulled up here. I've got the TI-84 Plus, and then I also have the Plus C version calculator pulled up as well. The only reason that I've done that is because when you go in to put the numbers into the matrices um, on each of the calculators, the screen looks a little bit different, so I wanted to show both of those. Um, for my example, I'm going to walk you through here is um, a linear uh, system right here, both in standard form. And then over here, I'm comparing it to the matrices and what it's going to look like. All right, uh, to start with, our um, variables, our coefficients rather, our coefficients here I have highlighted in red. Those are going to be represented in our A matrix over here. And notice, you know, they're in the exact same spot. So three is in the top left-hand corner, two is in the top right-hand corner, and so on. All right. Um, this middle matrix right here is going to be called X, and that's going to be representing our variables. And then our last matrix over here is going to be um, called B, and that's representing our constants in, in the exact same order that they appear in the system. All right, now we're going to let the calculator do all the work here. Um, in order to be able to solve this set of matrices for our variables, we need to take the product of the inverse of A and multiply it times B, and that will give us then our variables that middle matrix there showing us what X and Y is. Okay, so um, to do that, I'm going to start over here on the TI-84 calculator. We're going to hit alpha F3. And what that's going to do over here is that's going to pull up um, where we can tell the calculator what size of matrix that we want. All right, now I'm going to put A in first, and it is a two by two. It's got two rows, two columns. All right, so you've got to, unfortunately, arrow around all right, it says two um, rows right there. Arrow down, I want two columns as well. Hitting um, Enter will do that, and then going down and hitting OK. And then that gives me my matrix there, which is a two by two. All right, now let's come over here and go ahead and do it on the TI-84 plus C. It's in the exact same spot, so I'm still going to go alpha F3, okay? But it, the screen just looks a little bit different there. I still have rows and columns. You do have to arrow. I need a two by two, so two rows is already selected. I need two columns. All right, hit enter, and then there we do. Go with that, we'll go down, hit the OK button. And then once you get past that first screen, then it is gonna be identical on both calculators. All right, um, let's come back over here on the 84. Let's put them in, there's three. You just simply arrow over and around in that matrix. You do wanna make sure that the cursor is actually on top of the numbers when you enter them and then it totally erases in there. Okay, now, since it um, is actually showing my matrix right there and I want the inverse of A, then X raised to the negative one right there, hitting that little key will do your inverse right there. I'm gonna now multiply it by my B matrix, so I need to get my matrix up here again. So, alpha F3, all right, and on this one I need now, I only have one column and I have two rows. Okay, so still two rows, but I only need one column. So there's two rows, one column. Arrow down, hit OK, and it gives me what I need there. Now I can enter in my two numbers, 16 and 19. And hitting Enter then will give us the X matrix, and what I had defined as X over here, showing the number on top, number on the bottom, so the number on top corresponds to your x-coordinate, number on the bottom corresponds to your y-coordinate, thus making the solution there the ordered pair 2, 5. All right, now, like I said, I did not finish it over here on the TI-84 because uh, besides the initial pulling that up, the screen is exactly the same. All right, so if I did hurry and put them in over here, you would see the exact same thing. 7, and then I'm not sure, let's clear that out right there, let's put 7 in on top. So if you're not on top, then you get that extra 0 in there. Again, hitting the inverse, 1 to the negative 1 there. Now, showing the different screen, alpha F3, all right, just looks a little bit different on the newer ones there, just a little bit. I need only one column. And I did try to like hit a five. Hitting the five is not going to automatically jump there. I have not found an easy way to be able to do it other than arrowing down and around inside the matrix box 
I don't know, maybe someone else might know of a better trick to do that, but I have not found one yet there. All right, putting 16 in the top there and then 19 in the bottom as well. And hitting enter, then it does give you the exact same result and even in the exact same format. All right, so um, just showing on both calculators how to use uh, matrices to be able to solve a system of linear equations. Thanks for watching. And if it, um, it's going to help you out, go ahead and give me a like on the video. Thanks.